Central Missouri Athletics had another successful year. During the 2021-22 season, UCM had three MIAA regular season championships, two MIAA tournament titles, 13 individual conference champions, two regional titles, a national semifinal finish, and one national champion crowned. Not only did the UCM student-athletes excel on the field, but they were also just as successful in the classroom. 349 student-athletes made the MIAA Academic Honor Roll with at least a 3.0 GPA, including 52 who earned a 4.0 GPA to receive the MIAA Academic Excellence Award. There were also 57 MIAA Scholar athletes boasting grade point averages of 3.5 or higher and earning all MIAA honors in their respective sports. In addition, seven student athletes were named COSIDA Academic All-Americans. In all, 30 UCM student athletes earned at least one All-American honor to cap their season. There were 61 selected to at least one All-Region team and a total of 96 All-MIAA performances. Six student athletes earned MIAA Player of the Year accolades, including Cassie Newsom, Women's Soccer Offensive Player of the Year, Lindsey Johnson, Women's Soccer Co-Goalkeeper of the Year, Audrey Fisher from Jenny's Volleyball, Nyjah Collier, Women's Basketball Defensive Player of the Year, Jacor Nelson, Men's Basketball Defensive Player of the Year, and Brennan Van Bruzgen, Baseball Co-Player of the Year. Mules Track and Field's Christopher Goodwin captured the 2022 Outdoor Long Jump National Championship, the first long jump national title in program history. Let's take a closer look at what our teams accomplished this past year. Mules football won four of their last seven games to finish the season with a record of 4-7. Twelve players received all MIAA honors including wide receiver Cameron Saunders and defensive lineman Chima Dunga as first-team selections. In the spring, Central Missouri named Josh Lamberson as Mules football's next head coach. Lamberson returns to the Mules family to succeed Jim Sabota, who led the program for the past 11 seasons. Jenny's Cross Country finished with a pair of second-place team finishes, including at the MIAA Championship meet. Three Gens earned first-team all-conference honors. The Jennies would finish seventh at the Central Region meet. For the Mules, they posted two second-place team finishes during the season. At the MIAA Championships, the Mules placed fifth. The Mules also finished fifth at this Central Region meet and would receive an at-large bid to the championship meet in Florida. At that event, the Mules capped off the year with a 32nd place finish. Jenny's Volleyball would claim the program's 25th MIAA regular season championship and a 14th MIAA postseason tournament title. After running through the conference season with an 18-2 mark and winning the postseason championship on their home floor, the Jennies would serve as host to the Central Region for the first time in 10 years. The Gens' 36 all-time Division II postseason appearance ended at the regional championship. UCM finished the season with a 29-4 overall record and ranked fourth in the final AVCA Division II poll. Eight Jennies received all MIAA honors, led by Audrey Fisher, who was named Player of the Year. Flip Piontek was named the year's Conference Coach of the Year and Central Region Coach of the Year. Among the many postseason honors for Jennies Volleyball, all region recognition for Audrey Fisher, Ali Offerdahl, Hannah Ingleken, and Kirsty Nix. Fisher was named the D2CCA Central Region Player of the Year and was voted to the 2021 COSIDA Academic All-American Team. Three Jennies earned All-American honors, with Fisher tabbed a first-team All-American by both the ABCA and D2CCA. The end of the season brought the end of a great coaching career, with Flip Piontek announcing his plans to retire. 
Coach Piontek is the second winningest coach in program history with 333 wins in 13 seasons, including six MIAA regular season crowns, three MIAA postseason tournament titles, two Division II regional championships, and 10 trips to the D2 postseason. Former Central Missouri All-American, UCM Athletic, and MIAA Hall of Famer Caitlin Peterson was named the ninth head coach in Jenny's volleyball history. Jenny's soccer captured the MIAA regular season and Division II Central Region titles in 2021 finishing with a record of 24 and 1 and were ranked 6th in the final poll of this season. Nine Jennies were named all MIAA after winning the league title for a 12th time in program history. Highest honors went to Cassie Newsom as Offensive Player of the Year, Lindsey Johnson named Co-Goalkeeper of the Year, Caroline Cole tabbed as Freshman of the Year, and Coach Louis Theobald received Co-Coach of the Year honors. All conference first team selections included Newsom and Cole, as well as Sydney Leslie and Lindsey Edmonds. Cassie Newsom was named a first team All-American and was named the Central Region Player of the Year. Jenny Soccer captured the Central Region Championship for a sixth time in program history. Jenny's Bowling finished runner-up in the Great Lakes Valley Conference Tournament in late March. The GLVC All-Conference team included a trio of Jennies, with Jacqueline Garcia Ojoa leading the way with second team honors. Mules Wrestling definitely took a step forward during this past season, finishing with a 6-8 mark in dual meet competition overall and 2-2 two and two in the MIAA. John Rydell highlighted the season by capturing the D2 Super Region 4 Championship at 157 pounds and went on to place fourth at the D2 National Championship meet in St. Louis and finished the year with a record of 27-5. The future looks bright for Mules Wrestling, in particular with the recent announcement of the construction of the new Roger Dinker Wrestling Facility. In addition, UCM Athletics welcomed Cody Garcia as the 10th head wrestling coach in program history. Mules Basketball finished the season with a 13-14 record and advanced to the MIAA postseason tournament. Three members of the Mules basketball squad earned all MIAA recognition, led by Jacor Nelson, who was tabbed as the Defensive Player of the Year and was named to the all MIAA defensive team. Jenny's basketball finished the 2021-22 campaign with a 19 and 11 record. The Jennies had three players earn all MIAA honors, led by Nyjah Collier, who was tabbed as the MIAA Defensive Player of the Year for the second time in her career. Collier was also named to the All-Defensive Team and was a first-team All-Conference selection, along with teammate Brooke Littrell. Collier and Littrell were also named the D2 Conference Commissioners Association All-Central Region Team, and the duo also picked up All-American honors. Jenny Softball ended the season 15-32 overall with a 7-15 and mark in conference play. Four Jenny's student athletes earned all MIAA accolades, outfielder Peyton Corrigan and Aubrey McRoberts, first baseman Mackenzie McAtee and pitcher Kylie Lay all received all MIAA honorable mention honors, with Corrigan also being named to the all MIAA gold glove team. Jenny's Golf finished runner-up in the MIAA championships. Claire Solovic was crowned the individual champion. Three student athletes earned all MIAA honors with Rosie Klossner, a first team selection. The Gens finished second out of nine teams at the Central Region Tournament, Rosie Klossner finishing tied for second individually. Number 24th ranked Central Missouri Jennies Golf finished tied for 14th in the team standings at the Division II Women's Golf Championship. Klossner and Solovic were named to the Women's Golf Coaches Association All-Central Region team. McKenna Rice was named to the Women's Golf Coaches Association All-American Scholar team. 
Mules Golf wrapped up the MIAA Championships with a second place team finish, where Matt Heyman was crowned the individual champion. Three Mules earned all MIAA honors. UCM went on to capture its second consecutive Division II Regional Championship after winning a one-hole playoff against Grand Valley State on the final day of competition at the Midwest Central Regional. Number 11th ranked Mules Golf wrapped up its outstanding season in the Men's Golf Championship National Semifinals. And in February, 15-time MIAA Coach of the Year and 10-time Regional Division Coach of the Year, Tim Poe was inducted into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame as part of the 2022 enshrinement class. Mules Baseball claimed the conference regular season title for a third straight time and 28th overall with a 30-3 and conference record and captured a fourth straight MIAA tournament championship, 15th overall. UCM's postseason run ended in the Central Region Championship, finishing the year 46-9 and overall. The accolades rolled in for the Mules. Central Missouri Baseball had 13 student-athletes earn all MIAA postseason accolades, with Brennan Van Bruzigan earning MIAA Co-Player of the Year honors. Two student-athletes earned D2CCA All-American honors as Van Bruzigan was a first-team selection. Four players garnered all Central Region honors, including Van Bruzigan earning first-team accolades. Van Bruzigan and starting pitcher Colin Jones earned All-American honors, and head coach Kyle Crooks was named the Division II Coach of the Year. And at the MIAA Indoor Track and Field Championship meet, both the Jennies and Mules finished fourth, with four student-athletes winning individual conference titles. At the Division II Indoor Championships, UCM had 10 All-American performances, highlighted by the Mules' Trey Miller finishing as runner-up in the heptathlon. At the MIAA Outdoor Championships, UCM had six student-athletes claim conference titles. Central Missouri Track and Field wrapped up its season with one national champion and nine All-Americans at the Division II Outdoor Championships, including three notable seniors who finished out their careers in the red and black. Christopher Goodwin captured the first ever D2 Long Jump National Championship in program history. It was his fourth career All-American honor and his first national title. Ashlyn Burton capped off her phenomenal Central Missouri career with a pair of All-American performances in the women's shot put and discus. She finished as the national runner-up in the shot put. Burton ends her time in the red and black with seven total All-American honors. Senior Vincent Hobby wrapped up his outstanding career as a mule with a national runner-up finish in the men's pole vault. Hobby caps his UCM career with six All-American awards and an indoor pole vault national championship in 2019. Both the Mules and the Jennies earned the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association All-Academic Team Award, in addition to 21 student-athletes. We recently kicked off a new year with our 22nd annual Celebrating Central Missouri Athletics auction with 600 plus in attendance, raising more than $200,000 going towards UCM Athletics. With the new season right around the corner, the Mules and Jennies are grateful for the support of the staff, faculty, administration, and the Board of Governors from the University of Central Missouri.